On February 24th, Russia launched a large-scale attack on Ukraine, which not only affects people around the world, but also affects students here at Rampart. Here we have a Ukrainian transfer student, Anastasia Kurovska, and this is her story. In Ukraine, it was a really beautiful place to grow up. There is nice people, nice community. My family moved here to give me and my sister a good opportunity, like education and work. We arrived here uh, uh, six years ago with kids. He, he was first and we arrived after him. Even during this time, she manages to contact her family in Ukraine every day. Since war started, I call them almost every day, but it's also dangerous to call them. It's dangerous yeah. uh, for the soldiers yes, to discover his... Uh, to soldier who was fighting in this moment right now. That can discover his position. The people from, from our country uh, concern about uh, his uh, form because the Russian uh, military looking for uh, through the through the special devices, special things, looking where's the where's a lot of people, and uh, try to fight. Local activists and Ukraine natives formed a protest at the capital in Denver with the goal to bring support to Ukraine. You can go to a protest, which is gonna be this uh, this week on Saturday, this uh, in the Denver. They have like in a Facebook page where you can basically see it there. What really motivated, and I was here last week too, is watching Russian people, thousands upon thousands of them, get arrested just for peacefully protesting. I thought, well, this is the least I can do. I am very touched how Ukraine united so many nations, so many people. There are people here who are not a Ukrainian. There are Russian people, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Iran. So I think Putin is not just fighting against Ukraine, he's fighting against the whole world. It's more of a rally than a protest. Uh, we are here gathered to raise some money to help with the medicine and armament of Ukrainian people. Uh, we're coordinating with local uh, nonprofit organization, the Ukrainians of Colorado. Last time we had over 300 people, the press, uh, and good exposure. And I had a lot of people reach out and I put together some volunteers. We have 15 to 20 volunteers at this point. Despite her previous lifestyle in Ukraine, Anastasia is happy to find herself not alone here in Colorado. When I moved here, I didn't expect to see Ukrainian people. That's That's really surprising. I'm here to support my country, support my people. Physically I'm here, but my heart is there. Last two weeks has been like the hardest two weeks in my life. I, I'm a Ukrainian American, you know, I've, I've moved to the uh, United States back in 09, so this is my country. So we're here to support Ukrainians on the ground and ask the uh, United States and, and NATO countries to do all they can to help with defensive weapons and capabilities for Ukraine to stand to that aggression. Pro probably there's a lot of information now on the internet that you, that you can see, unless you live in Russia, of course, uh, where in red, that information is pretty limited, right, or, or suppressed. And just share the information so everyone will see what's going on. Students should to know that situation, what's going on. Don't close your eyes, don't close your ears. So you should to read and understand what's going on. This is war. Read all information what you what you can read is your Google uh, search and found some information regarding history. you can watch history and you you will know what's going on. Consider supporting the Ukraine Rams and stay aware of world events. This has been Benjamin Ray reporting for KRAM.